Mr. Dennis Ritchie, the father of C language, wanted C to remain compact. Hence, intentionally, he has not provided any reserve word or keyword for input or output. That is, neither there is any provision for receiving data from any input devices like keyboard properties etc. nor for sending data to output devices like video properties etc. Then question is, how C programmer manages the input or output? In C language, the input output operations are managed through the standard library functions. Note that these functions are not part of definition of C language, but they have become standard feature of C language. Along with every C compiler, the standard I.O. libraries, I mean input out output libraries, that is set of these functions are provided. Note that every operating system has its own facility for managing I.O. operations. The C compiler uses this facility through the C programs. That is, the compiler designers develop several C programs which simply links the C compiler for particular operating systems input output facilities. So what, what they are doing? The designers or developers of C compiler develop several C programs which simply link the C compiler for particular OS input output facilities. That is, the headache of I.O. is simply hand over to the operating system through the simple C programs. These C programs are nothing but input output standard library functions. Is it clear? Well, the C is a practically unique language for managing I.O. operations. C's I.O. system is elegant piece of engineering that offers a flexible yet cohesive mechanism for transferring data between devices. This system is quite large and contains several different standard library functions. We have studied many functions like printf, scanf, then getS, getche, getch, etc. We will study in this chapter this input output operations. Thank you.